Well, and uh, we want to turn things over to see, uh, especially after the last couple of days, yeah. what we're expecting because we know this snow on the ground isn't expected to stick around. Yeah, it definitely won't if the sun today and this evening doesn't do a number on it uh, for some of the areas that don't have a lot of snow that's left. Certainly the warmer temperatures over the next couple days will. This is a look at, uh, I believe this is the Interbelt Bridge, and you can see we still have some snow that is uh, sitting on the berms there. Uh, this is just off the Interbelt Bridge, just east of there at 77 and 90. But what I want to show you is the sun glint. The glare is real for everybody. <laughs> the sun is out, and so westbound drivers definitely having to contend with that. Currently, it is 37 balmy degrees at Cleveland Hopkins Airport, and we have green all the way across the board for the rest of the evening. No weather issues for the evening commute, although we do have some evening commute issues to talk about, specifically in Summit County along I-77. There are two uh, problem spots. Number one is in Gent, 77 northbound. There is a crash after the Gent Road exit, so this is again on the northbound lanes. So just after that ramp comes down, there's a little bridge, and there just so happens to be what looks like a roll over accident right here, uh, right at the end of that bridge. So these are those northbound lanes and you can see there is traffic that's going by. It's down to one lane, but there is a bit of a backup that is associated with that. And you can see that all the way down here, uh, almost to uh, Market Street. Then farther to the north, uh, it's at Wheatley Road, 77 southbound. There is an accident that's causing a few delays, as you can see. But for the most part, uh, we have pretty smooth sailing this evening, which is some great news. The clouds have moved out. Now, now, the clouds are, of course, following on the backside of what was left of the snow. Early this morning, we had plenty of cloud cover. We even had a few flurries lingering, but then it's out of here. And so now we're off to the races with a really beautiful day setting up for tomorrow. Most of the cloud cover that is across the Great Lakes that's left is courtesy of the lakes. The system snow or system cloud cover known as synoptic cloud cover is going to continue to move out to the east. So what is all this chat about rain that's coming up? Well, when you look at the really big picture, there is not a lot to look at, right? You're thinking there's nothing down there. What is she seeing that's going to be the rain? Well, if we change things just a little bit and we look at the water vapor imagery. So water vapor imagery is basically measuring the water content, the water vapor, the droplets of water content in the middle parts of the atmosphere, about 15,000 feet or so. And back here, you see this little dry spot. This is the drier air. And that is basically going to give a little kick of energy right here into Texas and we will see a storm system developing. Watch how this is expected to go down. Our little kick is sitting out here, and as we head through the next 12 hours or so, you can see that not a whole lot is going on. But once we get past midnight and into tomorrow, now you're starting to see things really beginning to bubble up. A little energy and a lot of golf heat and moisture certainly goes a long way this time of the year. And so we will see moisture streaming northward. Now, at the same time that is happening, we will be getting some heat that's moving northward, too. The result will end up being rain on Friday. We are likely to have rain starting early morning Friday, continuing most of the day on Friday. And then once uh, we get past Friday afternoon, a few little residual blasts of rain will be moving through early on Saturday. But then I think we will have clear ring conditions late Saturday before another round of rain begins to move in for Sunday. So it's kind of one of those back and forth type situations. Mostly clear tonight, cold and frosty. Temperatures dropping back into the 20s. Southwest winds will help to really curtail the fall of the temperatures under clear skies. And especially in areas where we have snowpack, we could achieve some very cold temperatures if the winds go calm. But I think we'll have that southwest wind that kind of keeps things elevated for us. Your National Design Mart on the hour forecast takes is to near 50 tomorrow. We will have sun early, but then those clouds really start to thicken up as the afternoon wears on. And here is your Union Home Mortgage forecast. That rain likely on Friday, as mentioned, with mid and upper 40s. We'll be back to around 50 or so for the weekend, so we've pop the temperatures up a little bit, but we do have some shower chances that linger for Saturday. Another round of rain begins to move in on Sunday, and you can kind of see what happens next week. We just don't really get into a clear cut pattern. It's just more or less an unsettled, cool weather pattern that's setting up. Mm. Yeah. After the warmth, though, I mean, yeah, exactly. Positive. So. All right. Thanks, Bets. We'll yeah. check in with you in just a bit.